Hello, fellow Daz Studio enthusiasts. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you back to another tutorial series on Daz Studio. Now, t this week, I want to talk about importing and exporting. What's really cool is you can use this utility to create an object kind of a static prop and then you can use it and import it back in to any scene and use it as a prop. So I want to show you how we can create something, export it as an object, and then import it back in to another scene where we can use it as a static prop. So in order to do this, I am going to create a little flower vase that Milica is going to be holding in this scene. So I have a, a second instance open. We are going to create our vase and flowers in this second instance, and then we're going to export it and then we're going to bring it into the Milica scene as an import. So I'm going to just create a simple vase here with some flowers. All right, so I love Geometry Editor. I just um, got rid of those stems. So now I have like a uh, nice vase of flowers. And so what we're going to do is we are going to export this. And so all I have to do is go up to File, and then we're going to hit Export. And it's going to open up a window where you can save it uh, wherever you want. So I just have a um, personal folder called uh, bulk renders and then it's in this subfolder called extras. I just have to name this. I'm going to name it flower vase and I'm going to hit save. Then it comes up with this screen here. You can just hit accept and it's going to save this as an object. All right. Now I'm going to go back to my original scene and I can come up to file and then go to import. When I hit import, I can look and see I have a couple of of other objects, but I have this flower vase object. I just got to double click it. You're going to get this um, screen, nothing to worry about, just hit accept. And if you look, I've got that flower vase as an object. Now, what's really cool about this is it's all one object. So if you notice here, there's no um, subfolders to this flower vase. So this is all one object now. In my Daz Studio that I created this, it's got a vase and four flowers. So, I mean, I can group this if I want to move it together, but when I export it and save it as an export file and then import it in, it's all one item. So now I can um, select that flower vase and I can shrink it and then I can move it into Milica's hand. Remember, posing is what takes the most time. Let's make it a little bit smaller. So it's just fitting nice into her hand. You can see now that we can create a static object that I can move around as one item. 
So this is pretty cool. And I didn't really know about import export uh, for a long time, to be honest with you. So when I discovered it, I thought it was really cool and I wanted to share it with you. So now we've got our cutie Milica in her bedroom. Maybe someone has a crush on her, secret admirer, gave her some flowers. All right, so let's do a render and see what we have. Okay, so you can see our render. So the import export is a really simple technique, but I think it can be very useful. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, let me know, give me a comment, like and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. Love to hear your ideas. More tutorials are coming up, so stay tuned. And until next time, I will see you later. Have a great day.